What's up? I'm Jonah Weinhofen from I Killed the Prom Queen, and I'm at Grows Rock Festival, and you are watching Discovered TV. Grows Rock for us was pretty rad. Um, it was our first show on this tour, so you know, first shows are always a little bit shaky, and you know, you got to brush the cobwebs. We've had a month off as well, so. But I think all things considered, the set was awesome. The crowd was definitely rad. Um, we played a song called Bright Enough for the first time today ever. Um, and that was rad for us because you know, playing a new song is always rad. Introducing a new song into your set. Um, I think it went down extremely well. We actually just shot a new video for it, so we're excited to put that out. But um, all the new songs have been going down pretty well, you know. The, the old ones, people seem to know a little bit more, but Beloved's been out a couple of months now, so we're pretty stoked that people seem to be taking notice. Well, uh, the weird thing about Aussie festivals, Soundwave in particular, is some of the venues, you know, this is just a big open field and you've got all your stages spread out. Some of the venues in Oz are kind of weird, like the, the festival in Sydney was in like a, sort of like the Olympic stadium area. So you got a, a stage set up in a stadium and then a stage set up like on a big concrete slab and then another one like miles away. So it's, it's a bit different in that way, but you know, apart from that, the vibe's pretty similar. Lots of drunk people. <laughs> The best and the worst. Uh, the worst is probably a couple of years ago I played one called Puckle Pop, which was also here, I think, in Belgium. And there was a crazy storm that just came out of nowhere. Crazy windstorm. One of the stages collapsed. I don't think anyone was really badly hurt. Um, and they basically called the whole thing off before we got to play. Um, and a lot of the fans were pretty annoyed about that. But yeah, it was crazy. Like, walking through, you know, like almost knee-deep water and mud just backstage. It was nuts. And the best, um, I don't know man, I've played some awesome festivals. Um, one of the coolest festivals I ever played was one in, in Norway called Hova Festival. And that was just, you know, the most picturesque setting, just like forests and lakes and beautiful landscape and plenty of Norwegian people and just some really cool bands that we got to play with, so that was my favourite. I don't know who else. Maybe we'll take the offspring. They, they seem like a bit older and wise. Yeah, maybe they know their way around a zombie outbreak. Out of my band, wow. We're, we're pretty into like sort of zombie fiction, so I reckon we'd we'd all have a bit of uh, knowledge and experience in the matter. I read all the Walking Dead comics and started watching the TV show as well. Um, I think irony is going to have it that I go first, even though I, uh, I, I've just spent the whole time talking about how awesome I'd be in a zombie apocalypse, but yeah, I don't know. We're, we're all pretty even in, uh, in our skill levels, I think. Can I kill a zombie with this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. H hammer and axe seems the way to go, but I don't know if we have... I guess we've got a hammer in the bus somewhere. I think it would be a slaughter at an indoor venue and I think at a venue like this you actually might have a chance to probably climb onto the top of the tent. Shit, I don't know. We'd send them out into the crowd so they eat all the fans first, obviously, and then we'd just stay back here in the safety of the VIP area. Um, I think I do an alright job as it is on festivals. Um, Probably don't take my job too seriously and enjoy more bands, I think. Because I tend to, to kind of be really focused on what we're doing and, and miss a lot of the bands that we could actually be seeing and checking out. Um, yeah, we're around all day. As I said, the guys that we're on the bus with, Devil Wears Prada and the Ghost Inside, all good mates of ours, so we'll definitely be checking them out. I'm pretty bummed that D's Nuts was yesterday and not today, because you know, they're some of my best friends. Um, I'm actually really intrigued to see Falling in Reverse too, because I've never seen them live before. Yes, um, nothing is confirmed yet, but we're actually talking about some supporting later in the year and maybe even a headline run for the UK, sort of October, November time. Um, so if all pans out well, then we'll definitely be back by then. 
Probably bring a raincoat, and depending on where you are, if it's in Europe or definitely the UK, bring gum boots. But everyone already knows that. But I've definitely gone to festivals in Fred Perry, you know, flimsoles, and just had to throw them out because they're covered in mud. <laughs>